guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the sum of prefix course of string problem which is from lead code number 2416 and the prerequisite before uh, watching this video is to know all about try implementation so you can click on the i button or get the link from the description below to know all about try uh, now i suppose you have seen this so let's get started with the problem in this problem you are given an array of words of size n consisting of non-empty strings we define the score of a string word as the number of strings word set i such that word is a prefix of word set i for example let's say the words are a a b a b c and c a b then the score of a b is 2 since a b is a prefix of both a b and a b c now we need to return an answer of size n where answer at i is the sum of the score of every non-empty prefix of words of i okay and we need to note that the string is considered as a prefix of itself now let's look at an example for better understanding uh, in this case let's assume that we are given four words uh, a b c a b b c and b now if we take the first string which is a b c then how many prefixes will it have it will be equals to the length of the string so the length of the string is three in this case so what are the prefixes it is a a b and a b c a a b and a b c right so if you take the first prefix which is a okay and then find out in how many strings in these words in how many strings does this same prefix occur so if you look at it a occurs as a prefix in abc as well as in ab and therefore the total number of strings in which this prefix a is present are two and therefore it will be contributing two to the overall count okay we will see what the count actually is here now the next prefix of the string abc is ab and if you see about ab in how many strings the same prefix occurs it is abc and ab right in the zeroth string and the first string therefore the count is two and similarly for abc the entire string can also be considered as a prefix according to the problem statement so abc is a prefix which is present only in abc and no other string therefore it is present in only one string so i will be including a count one for it so for this word at zero which is abc if we calculate for all the prefixes which is a a b and abc then the total count is equals to five so this will be inserted in our answer set okay now for the next string which is ab how many prefixes does it have the length is two so it will have two prefixes a and ab now if you look at a in how many strings a happens it happens in string 0 and string 1. That means A is present as a prefix in string 0 and string 1. So the count contribution for this A prefix will be 2. Similarly for AB it will be 2. And the total count will be equals to 4. And on similar note you can find out for the third string the length is 2. So there will be two prefixes B and BC. So the contribution of B will be B is present as a prefix in just two string 2 and 3. So the count is 2 and similarly BC the count will be just itself which is 1. So the total count is 3. So this is also added to our answer. And similarly for the last string with B how many strings starts with B. Uh, we have only two string which is uh, index 2 and index 3. And that is why it will contribute 2 to our answer. Right. So we need to return for every word in the words array. We need to return if we account for all the prefixes of the given word then what will be the number of words in which each of these prefixes occurs we need to add it up and return it in our answer array so i hope you have understood the problem statement our goal is to find the prefix count for every prefix among all the strings okay so once you have understood the problem statement what you can do is you can apply the simple approach of saying that okay i will iterate from one string after another so i will iterate from one string after another and whenever i am at a string then i will look at all the prefixes of that string yes so i will look at the first prefix let's say the prefix is a now i will be checking in how many strings this same prefix a happens and how do we check it we have to check it character by character for every string and whenever the first mismatch happens or, or we run out of our prefix then we will stop there okay so in this case if we are looking for a 
we will match a from the first string a from the second string but a is not matching here a is not matching here right so the count contribution of prefix a will be 2 and if we look at uh, a b then uh, we will match a here b here right in the second one also we match a and b but in the third and fourth the a itself did not match so the count is 2 so we can decide what is the prefix and we can iterate over all the strings and then find out if the prefix is matching so this is the simple approach but is it feasible let's see so in the simple approach uh, given in the question that our number of strings are n and the length of each string we are assuming it to be l then each prefix needs to be matched with n different strings and the number of prefix of a string is equals to l because if the length of the string is abc then we will have prefixes as a a b and a b c so if the length is l then the number of prefixes will also be l right so in the simple approach the time complexity will be a multiplication factor because for every string we have to iterate over its entire length okay so it will be n times l and then for whatever prefix we have generated we have to check it over all the strings and we have to do the prefix matching right so the total time complexity in this case will be n square into l square if you look at the constraint we can just see if it is uh, feasible or non-feasible so in this case the number of uh, strings can be 1000 which is 10 to the power 3 and the word length can also be 10 to the power 3 so i will take the maximum possible value so if you calculate for n square times l square then it will be 10 to the power of 12 which is much greater than 10 to the power of 8 so definitely this is going to give you tle because this is a standard for let's say one second okay so since this approach did not work out we have to optimally solve this uh, prefix counting problem and if you have seen my try video then you know that a prefix tree is the way to go here and one of the important use case of the prefix tree is to count the prefixes okay so let's see the simple idea of the try here now in the try approach what we need to do is we need to uh, insert all these words into the try so i have already shown you the try node here i will be just using two variables one will be a prefix counter which will count how many prefixes have occurred with the given string okay and then we will have the child pointer because in the problem statement they mention uh, that uh, all the characters are lowercase english letters so you know that lowercase english letters will happen from zero to z but given a character c if you subtract a from it you can get uh, the range of items in the range of 0 to 25 right so that's why uh, we you can take 26 child pointers or simply take a map okay now let's insert all these values one by one into the try so that uh, you will understand it now let's take the first one which is abc so i will always have the root of the try okay so this is the root of the try now after the root node i will be inserting a so when as soon as i insert a i am just inserting abc so when i insert a i will have prefix counter by default when the node is created it will be zero so in this case i will make it one because a has been inserted now the next character is b so i will insert b and i will make the prefix counter equals to one next character is c so i will insert c and i will make prefix counter equals to one right so after inserting abc what I mean by this prefix counter is if I look at this node A then the prefix counter 1 says that till now whatever string I have inserted the number of string in which this prefix A happens is 1 okay because I have not inserted the other strings right and similarly uh, for the second one like uh, if I look at this B what is the meaning of this prefix count 1 it means that if we have uh, the prefix a b then in how many strings does this prefix happens in only one string because we have just inserted only one string right so i hope you have uh, understood this thing now let's insert the next string so the next string is a b now if i insert a b then i will always start inserting from the root node okay so if we account for a from the root node then a pointer to a is already present so i don't need to build a new pointer and you see that since this a is the same i will just increment the prefix counter and make it two now in this case if i look at this node a this means that how many uh, strings have the prefix equals to a and there are two strings therefore the prefix counter is made two now for this b i will insert b now right 
so there is a pointer to b again so i will just go to b and increment the prefix counter now b mentioning two means how many strings are there with the prefix ab and the answer is two till now like we have just in in inserted two strings okay so first what i will do is i will insert all the strings into the tray so let's insert bc as well now when we started the root node there is no pointer to b so let's insert b somewhere and then uh, the prefix counter will be made as one now when i insert c then the prefix counter will be again made as one right now again for the last string if i insert uh, then again i will start from the root node and i have a pointer to b so i will just increment the prefix counter and make it two so i have successfully inserted all the strings into the tray right after the insertion the second number step is to check for all the strings and for all the prefixes what is the prefix count okay so now what i need to do is since i have built the tray i will again restart for each of the word so let's restart for this abc we have to build our answer array too right so let me build the answer array for all the words so i have four words so i will have four different answers of count so what we need to do here we need to find the contribution of each of the prefix for the given word so if i have abc what will be the prefixes a ab and abc three prefixes right so the contribution will be uh, the count of words in which a happens as a prefix the count of words in which b a, a b happens as prefix and the count of word in which abc happens as prefix right so i had already shown you here the count of words in which a happens as a prefix is 2 which was abc and ab the count of word in which ab happens as prefix is 2 which is abc and ab and the count of words in which abc happens as prefix is only abc right so the count is 1 so the total count is 5 therefore the contribution was 5 here similarly to calculate the same we just need to iterate over the try and add the prefix count value you see this now we will start iterating from the root node what is the first character it is a so do we have a pointer to a yes definitely like we have inserted the same strings and we are iterating over the same string so we need not even check if the pointer exist okay so i will be going to a what is the prefix count here two so i will keep a counter initialized to zero and this two will be added it this becomes 2 now i will go to the next character which is b so the next character b here has a prefix count of 2 again add this value and then the next uh, character c we do have a pointer to c so go to c and the prefix count value 1 get uh, added to the count so after traversing the entire string this 5 value indicates that the total contribution of all the prefixes is equals to 5 and that is what i will insert into my answer similarly you need to repeat for all the string let's repeat for a b now again i will start at the root node okay and then uh, we will be going to a again the count will always be reinitialized to zero so i will reinitialize counter to zero i will start at root node i will see a i will go to a i will add the prefix count to it again the next character is b so i will go to b and i will add the prefix count to it so this will become four after having traversed the string i will just append the count into my answer array again i will repeat the same with the bc so i will keep a counter equals to zero and i will start at the root node from the root node i will see the first character b i'll go to b add the prefix counter which is two now uh, then the next character is c from b i will go to c and then the add the prefix counter in the count so this becomes three now once we have traversed the string append this count to our answer array similarly repeat it for b again we will start from the root node and then uh, we are seeing b so we will go to b right so the counter will be initialized to zero and at b we are seeing two so we will be adding two to the counter and once we have traversed the entire string i will just append it to our answer so the answer in this case is five four three two so this is a very simple approach provided you already know try now what is the time complexity there are two types of operations we are doing insertion into the try and the searching of the words into the try so if you look at insertion then we are uh, going for each of the word and each of the characters right each of the character in the word is getting inserted into the try so this is linear time which is order of n into l after having done all the insertions we are searching for each of the word prefixes right so we are not searching for each prefix separately but we are just iterating over the entire string 
into the try okay so the searching time will be same as the insertion time for every word we are going to each and every character exactly one time while the search so the total time complexity will be insert plus search which will be equals to order of nl plus order of nl two times nl so we can write it as order of nl right and the space complexity will be each of the string is getting stored into the try and so the length of each of the word is l so that space complexity is nl right now if you remember the constraint was n maximum will be 10 to the power 3 and l maximum will be 10 to the power 3 so this approach will take 10 to the power 6 number of operations which is less than 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 is a standard of one second so this will definitely run within one second so this is how you know that this is the optimal approach and this is going to get submitted let us now look at the code i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. Uh, in this case, uh, the try node structure contains the prefix counter as well as the child pointers. So there will be maximum of 26 child pointers from A to Z marked with integer 0 to 25. Okay. And initialize uh, all the prefix counter with the value 0. Once that is done, uh, then uh, we will look at the main function, which is some prefix course. In this case, the words will be given as input and then we will be making the root of the try. I will insert all the words into the try and then search for each word into the try and uh, increment the counter. So if you look at the try insert uh, code, then I will be having the root node by default because you see that in the main function, I had already created the root node. After having seen this, if I need to insert let's say AB into this try, I will be starting with this current pointer which is equals to root. It will be getting the root as an input. Uh, so I will be iterating for each of the character. We will see if there is a pointer to A. If there is no pointer to A, we will, we will make a new node. And then our current pointer will move here as you can see it, line number 15. And then I will be assigning the prefix counter equals to 1 here. Okay, because whenever we create a new node, it is 0 and uh, once we create it we will increment it by one so this is our a now from here our next character is b so we will see if the pointer to b exists so this line number 13 checks that if there is no such pointer make a new node and then go there and make the prefix counter equals to one which is done by prefix count plus plus now again if i want to insert a after this uh, then i will be uh, again restarting from the root node okay so the try search also starts from the root node and then I will be going character by character and if I see that uh, uh, I mean the A already exists then uh, then I mean it is fine we will be traversing to it and uh, we will be adding the prefix counter value okay that I have already explained but if there is no pointer let's say I was talking about B from the root node then there is no pointer this means that uh, this path itself is not present that means there is no prefix okay there is no string starting with the prefix B okay so in that case we will have zero as a value since we are searching we need not make the new node as you can see here the line number 24 and 25 is not required so this is the entire code i hope you were able to understand if you have any problem then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you